everybody, welcome back to Northern Line Challenge Run of the Binding of Isaac. I am going to be doing an auctioneer themed run. No, actually, this run is called New Appreciation for Wiggle Worm, which sounds like a dope ass Brian Eno or Moby album or something. But in any case, suggested by YouTube user GTombs16. The way that this run is going to work, we have Wiggle Worm, as you can see. We also have two tiers upgrades. I don't know why this was important, but it was explicitly stated. And we have the $3 bill, so every room we are going to have some random tier effects. And the whole premise of this room, or this run, I should say, is that it's going to give me a new appreciation for an item that I don't like all that much, and that is Wiggle Worm. Okay, so obviously we have my reflection on this run. Uh, I have no idea how this run is going to work out. I feel like I say that every single time, but this is one of those times where I absolutely, like, it, the effects are pretty unpredictable. Like, you can see, even, like, the normal triple shot, all the shots go off in weird directions. It's going to be interesting, let's put it that way. So, I, I shouldn't pick that up. One of the conditions of this run, to compensate for the fact that we have, uh, I guess, $3 bill in those tiers upgrades, is that we're not allowed to go to any item rooms on the first two floors. So, this floor and the next floor are off-limits. After that, oh my god, the shots are just morphing around him like Fester's Quest. I placed a bomb by accident, that was stupid. But we got a bomb, so that's okay. Bob had a baby, it's a boy. Um, we're gonna go fight the boss immediately, I guess. Boss items, A-OK. -okay. Um, shop would be A-OK -okay if I could get some money, but I can't. We might as well go back and shoot that poop. Oh god, we got number one. This could be terrible, actually. We're gonna fire like crazy, but it's gonna be very difficult to not get hit, I think. Uh, but that's okay. Just chill out, like Arnold Schwarzenegger in Batman and Robin. And I'm, I feel pretty skeptical of my chances of succeeding on this run. But at the same time, I'm kind of interested to see if we get some more tier effects from item rooms, how things work out for us. Because I think things could get uh, pretty hilarious, and even pretty good from a, uh, like a, a damage perspective, or a DPS perspective at least, if I can manage to get some damage upgrades, uh, or some reliable tier effects. This is requiring some truly amazing dodging, not 100% effect effectiveness, but anyway. So we're stuck with Cuba Meat, D6 is totally worthless for us, down to the next floor, and then finally on the Caves and Catacombs we will be able to um, actually go to these item rooms. Should we fight this boss right away? I kind of don't want to, just because I'm worried about my health, but at the same time, I think having the D6 available kind of offsets that. And yeah, I mean, we're fighting a fairly easy enemy. We do have tough love, apparently, on this room. Uh, our luck is base luck, so we're not going to be firing too, too many tiers. But because I have all those tiers upgrades, we should get more teeth than necessary. Uh, sorry, when I said too, too many tiers, I meant too, too many teeth, of course. So that was a really easy fight. Uh, let's pick up some health. Maybe we will earn a deal with the devil. There are, of course, certain items that are off-limits. I think we should take the HP upgrade. Uh, like, Brimstone and Mom's Knife are, of course, off-limits. Uh, Ouija Board Guppy's Tail don't really appeal to me. We have the Nail, which, to be honest with you, one heart for the Nail is an unbelievable trade. So, uh, the way that we're gonna make this work, I guess, is we are gonna use the Nail on the next room. We're gonna continue exploring here, because you never know, we could get some more bombs, keys, random consumables, etc, etc. Uh, and we're gonna start amassing these Spirit Arts really early. That's why I like, uh, using the D6 on Deals with the Devil, because if you run into- I mean, it cuts both ways, I'll talk about that too, but, uh... You know, if you have, like, two one-hard deals for bad items, you can sometimes transition those into one-hard deals for good items. I forgot that Mom's Contact is one of the, uh, $3 bill effects. That's really good, actually. Um, we should blow this up first. We, I mean, I kind of want to get that key, but Spirit Hearts are more valuable. We also have the bomb, and the reason I don't want to get the key is because we can't really use it on this floor anyway. Uh, but yeah, the, it can cut both ways as well. Maybe you have some two do or two hard items, uh, and then you reroll and you get like Ouija board for two hearts or something, which is obviously a terrible deal, but it worked out well in our favor this time, I would say. I could go for the uh, key and open that golden chest. I think that's kind of a stupid decision, though. Uh, instead, what I will probably do is go play this arcade. Uh, might as well do that. To, uh, we got an, an extra key, which is awesome. Might as well do this to try to earn some extra cash-ish. Also, I hate myself for saying that, but uh, we could earn some more spirit arts by way of that fortune teller as well. But in the meantime, what I'm thinking here is we'll get enough money to hopefully uh, make a good crack at that shop. The real question is, where the hell would the bomb be located? Or sorry, the secret room be located? I'm just trying to think of where all these rooms are. So there's one down there, there's one down here. The secret room could be here. If I could just get three cents, I could guarantee the shop being worthwhile. Please have something. Okay, that's awesome. We actually ended up picking up, uh, like 11 cents there. No, 13 cents. My mistake. I was trying to do that. Well, there's no reason to go into it. Instead, let's just go up here to the shop. Uh, we're gonna be able to buy Notched Axe, which is obviously completely unimportant. Now, three cents for a single heart might seem like a silly decision, but that's- I'm just gonna go play that on the Blood Bag immediately. 
Worst case scenario, we're only gonna get two cents for the three cents that I spent to get this heart at the blood bank. But, there is a decent chance of getting the HP upgrade as well, which we just did. All of a sudden, I am a genius. Uh, let's move onward. So I could use this bomb to get this key. I think that's a smart decision going down to the next floor. My dude looks creepy as hell. We did not go to the item room on this floor, I believe. So I don't think I've done anything wrong from a challenge run perspective yet. Yes, we did not. That's a weird sentence to say, but in any case, what was the other item in here? It was something I didn't want, right? Yeah, it was something I can't take, actually. Brimstone. So it's down to the next floor. Obviously, I will be looking for uh, things to make our... Oh, Caves XL, so we only have one shop on this floor. I'll be looking for uh, shop items to make our nail more powerful, or at least more frequent. But as is right now, very pleased with the way things have gone. Got incredibly lucky to get that HP upgrade, but, you know, I, I did, in a way, kind of plan for it. So uh, I don't necessarily feel like someone out, out there is doing me unnecessary favors. I think it was just good planning on my part that, that ended up helping me out. Single bomb to pick up 8 cents is a totally solid... God damn it. Well, hopefully we'll be able to pick up those in a while. You know, we could just get a flying item on this floor, which would be A-OK -okay with me. We have both bosses right away, and to be honest with you, I kind of feel like we should just fight them. It might be in my best interest to at least get one more nail charge uh, before fighting this guy once. What do we have in here? More money. That's good. And hearts. Uh, so I want to go up here and do like one room. Oh, what do we... How's that... $3 bill can sometimes give us the magnet? If so, that is kind of crazy, but also awesome. Uh, let's play cool here. The triple shot is almost one of the worst, or at least weirdest, wiggle worm effects that we can get here. If you're moving when you shoot it, it creates like this really weird kind of dynamic on your tears. Anyway, there's more money. If we can clear out both of these boss rooms right away, possibly earn another deal with the devil for who knows. Uh, Guppy's Paw to get rid of all these red hearts would be fantastic in combination with a nail, but first things first, we're gonna be fighting Fistula, we've got homing tears, I'm probably gonna try to not use the nail. Uh, if I could save, uh, you know what, I should use the nail. I, I was thinking from a damage perspective, but I should probably use the nail just to maximize uh, the number of charges that I'll get from it anyway, because you know, every room that I don't use a fully charged nail is basically like a one-sixth of a spirit heart loss, mathematically speaking. Not to get all Leroy Jenkins on you guys. 33.33 repeating, of course. Let's see what we get from the Fistula fight. It's another HP upgrade. Beautiful. Uh, I'd say we just go fight this boss right now while we're here. It's gonna be Little Chub. Uh, obviously, kind of a garbage item for us to be getting, but uh, at the same time, can't complain too hard given the kind of silver platter which this game has been handed to me uh, so far. So we're just gonna try to kind of stay back, abuse our range. I, Oh my god, I can't believe that randomly hit me. Uh... We're gonna take out Little Chub. Little Chub is like, probably, in, if we were to break down bosses for like, difficulty or annoyance to reward ratio, Little Chub, or Little Chad, sorry, has like the highest annoyance for the lowest reward. Little Chad is one of the more useful items in the game, especially if you're planning on rolling entirely on Spirit Arts. Uh, and he, he's one of the more difficult bosses to fight at this point in the game as well. He's got a lot of health, he's quick, uh, and... Just a general pain in the ass. I think he does one full heart when he hits you. Yes, he does. And, you know, it's the standard, like, fucked up mechanic where when you hit him, uh, he ends up, like, running towards you. Like, you can be out of his range and then all of a sudden uh, just find yourself getting effed. So I lost a ton of spirit hearts on that fight. Uh, it's a minor setback. You know, we are sitting pretty with respect to health here. We have two item rooms and a shop that we're definitely going to want to go to on this floor. Uh, the world's our oyster, basically, provided we don't massively fuck up. Uh, I mean, you know, it's, it's way too early to tell if this is going to be a successful run on the whole, but we do have a lot of good things working out in our favor. I, I do wish that we'd fought Pestilence here, because uh, I could have used the extra familiar. Thank you, game, for that random magnet usage again. We'll see what we've got in this chest. That was definitely not worth it, unless we come across an arcade, in which case it was almost certainly worth it. Now, with three keys, I'm going to save these for now. Three keys is the bare minimum to accomplish everything we want to accomplish on this floor. Obviously, I'm talking about both item rooms and the shop as well. So, and again, hopefully the shop is not bad. Like, it's not containing greed or just awful items. Because I uh, am only going to be getting one shop on this entire set of floors. Which is always frustrating when you're really trying to maximize your chances of getting good items from the shop. But, you know, shit happens. There are other benefits, obviously, to uh, having XL floors. Homing Tears with uh, insane rate of fire is A-OK -okay by me. We will get the nail after this room. This guy's going to drop something. It's a single penny. No, those add up over time. Nail is ready, so let's see what we've got over on this side. Uh, we have Curse Room as well as our shop. And I should be exempt from taking damage here because I can just, you know, break all of those rocks. 
can't get that key though. Anyway, let's check out our chest. Or sorry, our shop. It is indeed greed. I'm gonna try to look at things on the bright side here. At, at least this means we're unlikely to fight greed on the next floor. Uh, and we still have both item rooms, so, you know, all is not lost by any stretch of the imagination. We get more money, and actually we get an awesome trinket in the form of cancer here, so we're gonna be firing with insane rate of fire here. The triple shot actually is kind of a cool look to it, like, as the triple shot goes off, it kind of like, well, we can't see it anymore because I've gone to a different room. My attempt to find the secret room is unfortunately fruitless there, and we have a lot of exploring left to do. We are up to 30 cents as well, so I would absolutely welcome judgment in any form at which we can find him. Let us continue upwards here. We have a Tinted Rock, which is fantastic, because Spirit Hearts are obviously super important for me. Now, I probably should have placed that bomb better to try to find if the Secret Room is on the left side as well, but, uh, you know, one Spirit Heart for a bomb is always a fair trade, but especially in the situation we're in right now. Uh, we have Insane Rate of Fire, and my reflection actually seems really useful here, believe it or not. Things I never thought I would say, uh, but it's allowing us to hit these guys when I'm first missing them. Plus, our Rate of Fire is so insane. Uh, that we're basically kind of creating like a brimstone area where anything that comes into contact with it is going to die very quickly. Lots of red hearts surrounding us. I'm really hoping we come across an arcade at some point. This is another My Reflection room, which is actually kind of awesome given our rate of fire. I still don't understand why this run is supposed to make me... Oh, that was kind of close. Uh, why this run is supposed to make me like Wiggle Worm more? It kind of makes me like $3 bill plus a lot of tears upgrades more so far. But maybe... Uh, you know, that will become apparent as we get a little bit further and further along. This is why Wiggle Worm is annoying. Uh, rooms like this. In fact, this is one of the rooms, uh, when I was recording, like, miscellaneous footage to do top 10 worst items in Isaac. We came across a room exactly like this, and I just stood there for, like, 45 seconds firing at a dude with all of my shots just bouncing ineffectively off the side. I mean, obviously that was for show. You can just kind of tackle it from a different angle, but let's see what our item room has here. Forget me now. Uh, tempting, but I'm not gonna take it reason I'm not going to take it is because I would hate to get rid of the nail just to have another chance to do this floor. It might actually work out in our favor, but I'm not going to get rid of the nail at this point. It's a, one of the best items in the game. Did make it on my top 10 uh, best items in Isaac, so I think that would be a silly decision. As much as I hate to leave Forget Me Now there. Uh, two bombs to get three bombs is always a good trade in my book. As long as we don't F it up somehow. That would have been catastrophic, but in any case, there's our three bombs for the cost of two, which is A-OK -okay by me. Finally, we have a good use for the nail card here. Or, sorry, the nail, uh, sp uh, spacebar item. That was an awful kind of composition of that sentence. I apologize. But in any case, our second item room contains, uh, Brother Bobby, which is solid, you know. If we're not gonna get a second level Meat Boy, we still might get a second level Meat Boy. But if we're not gonna get one right away, then, uh, I don't mind getting Brother Bobby, who's gonna allow us to do a little bit of extra damage. Only thing is, Brother Bobby, you know, kind of pales in comparison to the amount of damage we're able to do standalone. But at the very least, it's a passive item. Uh, and a passive item that will allow us to uh, do a little bit extra DPS, so that's okay by me. So far, this floor has been fairly good to us. After that somewhat catastrophic boss fight, or boss fights, well, a boss fight, because it was primarily uh, just little Chad that made things difficult, or Chad itself. Uh, we're going to play this Blood Bank until we get super low on health, unless it pays out earlier with the uh, health upgrade. Because right now, I'm in a fantastic position. You can just look on the map and realize there is a ton of health surrounding us. Uh, so I have basically zero risk to myself in doing this. I probably, if we were trying to have like the best run humanly possible... Wow, that was a dime there. It would probably be in our best interest to turn this money into possibly Spirit Hearts at the uh, Fortune Teller beside us. But I'm not too worried about that. In fact, we have so much health just kind of waiting us here, or awaiting us here, I should say, uh, that I'm at least going to pick up this stuff and, and play that Blood Bank a little bit more. Getting the extra money, not that important, but you never know. Money equals power could show up at some point, which would make us uh, a genuine powerhouse. Uh, and we're now up to 53 cents, which definitely means all item, or sorry, all shops for the rest of the game are going to be well within our grasp, assuming they have items. Uh, we might as well go do a little bit more exploring. The other thing is, if we come across a boss trap room, we are now at boss trap room levels of health. But otherwise... Oh man, we do! That was incredibly lucky! Now I feel like somebody up there likes me. So we're just gonna try to avoid getting hit by these bomb flies, because every spirit heart is sacred. And there's another... Oh! I didn't botch it for myself, that's okay. Uh, we're gonna get the crate here, which is fantastic, largely because... Of I took damage, but that's okay. There's a spirit heart to make up for it. Uh, it's awesome, largely because of that spirit heart. The red patch is not really a trinket that I'm going to be that into. Tarot card could be useful as well. And beyond all that, we're on Caves XL. So we're going to be dealing with just Larry Juniors and Monstros, which is A-OK -okay by me. These guys are going to die super quickly. Presumably, 
Uh, if I could at least land some extra shots on them. There we go. Uh, this guy's got to be close to death, and this guy's got to be fairly there as well. Okay, awesome. And we got a nail charge from that room. So we pick up the spirit heart. We got the emperor card, uh, which is worth taking because we will use this pill here. So let's take the pill. Speed down. It's a problem, but it's not that bad. Uh, we'll take the Emperor card, that'll probably last us well into uh, the next part of the game, because I'm going to probably save that for Isaac, if at all possible. Uh, it's been a long floor, but a, a very effective floor nonetheless. I'm not sure what we really picked up here that makes things that much better for us, but um, certainly not a bad floor by any stretch of the imagination. We can play this one more time. I thought maybe we'd get super lucky there. What we could do is just play these guys a little bit, try to earn some extra hearts, or spirit hearts, either is fine by me. Crystal Ball uh, might give us a Spirit Heart. Let's play it right away. It did? Fantastic. So I guess that was worth it. And uh, let's see if we can earn some uh, extra hearts here. Just allow us to play that Blood Bank a little bit more before we leave this floor. It's a rare situation for me to try to min-max, but uh, that is basically what I'm doing here. I would love to get that extra HP upgrade. It's kind of unlikely at this point. Hey, two extra cents. Let's just blow him up. We've got the we've got the money. I was hoping he'd give us a red heart. Instead, he gave us Lucky Toe, which is tempting, but uh, Cancer is such a good trinket that I think I'm going to roll with that for now. Secret room, uh, we do find, and that's as a result of the Crystal Ball. So I might as well uh, bomb my way into the secret room. Who knows? We could get something awesome there. Maybe like, well, I, 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 Epic Fetus should not be allowed to be taken either, or Fetus in a Jar. But maybe we get a 1-Up or an Onk or something. I apologize for this floor being somewhat exhaustive, but... Uh, it, you know, we're, we're playing every advantage we possibly can here, for sure. In our secret room, we find a single slot machine, which we'll play a few times, again, for red hearts if possible. Play it till we get down to 50 cents, I think. Actually, we just picked up a nickel as a result of that. Uh, I don't even think it's worth blowing up. Actually, getting that key out of it is a pretty big deal, though. And this thing is just never not going to pay out, which is fantastic in my opinion. Thank you for the red heart, my friend. And another... Seriously, we can't... This is the ultimate slot machine. It never loses. Did I just glitch the game or something? This is the craziest luck I've ever seen. I just won the slot machine like six or seven. We have definitely encountered some kind of awesome glitch here. Oh, slot machine. You've worn out, you're welcome. Still, like eight successful plays and then a blow up is fine. Um, Then a blow up is probably the most awkward sentence I've ever said in my entire life. With three keys, we can probably afford to open a golden chest, and even though these floors, are, this floor has been dead for a long time, we're still finding a value to get out of it here. Oh my god, we got so many more keys and dollars, or cents, I guess, as a result of that. You know what, I think it's time to just leave this floor. It's been very good to us. I could go back, play that blood bank many more times, but at some point, we just gotta move onward. Thank you for the free bomb. In any case, one of the best Caves XL, maybe not for items, but uh, just from a sheer, like, luck standpoint that I've had in a long time, so I say we just go down to the next floor and hope our luck continues as we are on the depths, and this is indeed the Depths XL, so we only have one more shop. Uh, that's disappointing for sure. Just want to make sure that I am using my nail whenever it is, you know, humanly possible and, uh, you know, sensical. At the very least, this means it does save us, like, one key in the whole scheme of things. That was a bad, uh, play on my part. Uh, it does save us one key because we're gonna have one less shop, but to be honest with you, I would rather have I mean, now that I have six keys, I would much rather go to two shops than merely have the option of going to one. Alas, we don't have too much choice in the matter. What we do have a choice in the matter of is not getting hit by these Zombros. My speed, and especially my shot speed, is, is definitely high enough to take these guys out before they pose much of a threat to me. So I'm not going to be sweating zombies too much. I would very much love to get piercing shots or something, though. Okay, just be careful here. Ah, I thought I was navigating the sea there as best as I could. Um, but yes, I would very much love to get piercing shots, uh, permanently. I'm not sure if you can get piercing shots from $3 bill. I don't see why you couldn't. Uh, I'm just not, I don't know if I've ever had that confirmed or anything. Also, you know, polythemes would be fantastic. Parasite would be very interesting at the very least. Uh, and beyond that, uh, you know, quad shot, triple shot, many different possible items. But I'm hoping that this floor is, uh... Maybe War and, well, it's obviously going to be Mom, but War and Mom might be a solid uh, deal for us as it would allow us to possibly uh, get up this second level Meat Boy, get a third level Meat Boy later, which is really, you know, we're, th we're thinking slightly long term. Second level Meat Boy in its own right would at least make this first level Meat Boy a little bit more useful, though. So we do have an arcade. I'll probably stick to my standard uh, arcade mechanic. We might as well open this up because, yeah, tons more keys, a little bit more money. The money's worthless at this point. Very unlikely to be useful for us, again, unless we get uh, money equals power in the item room. Or, sorry, the devil room, which is possible, but somewhat unlikely, to say the least. 
But again, it, it could happen, and that extra damage would be huge for us. Maybe enough to carry us through the rest of the game. Also, Lord knows, right now at least, we, we seem to have a, the health necessary to kind of survive a deal like that. These guys are real quick, and I hate when you have runs like this where your tears... God, that was so bad. Uh, where your tears cause these guys to move kind of more erratically than normal. Uh, but whatever, we, we ended up taking one Spirit Heart loss. We got our Nail Charge, that'll make up for it, unfortunately. Uh, again, we're gonna play this Blood Bank until we get all the way down to half of a Red Heart. This will allow us to go to any boss trap rooms we could come across, and three and a half Spirit Hearts should be enough to last us as long as is necessary to get all of our health back. And in the meantime, we're gonna be picking up a lot more money. But really, I am just looking for the, uh, Blood Bag here. Well, we didn't, didn't pay out with it, unfortunately, but we are at 72 cents now, which is a positive. Uh, let's, uh, continue onwards. Obviously, yes. Uh, there is the opportunity for me to that was bad as well. Uh, pick up some of those red hearts and then go back to the blood bank. But for now, let's just keep things uh, as safe as possible. Well, I mean, I guess half of a red heart and rolling entirely on spirit hearts right now. It, it's hard to argue that that's as safe as possible, but, you know, let's not make things any more dangerous. It's perhaps a more semantically accurate way to explain my uh, course of action right now. What do we have? We have my reflection on this room, which is not great for fighting leapers necessarily because we're trying to hit them from as far a range as possible. More red hearts are available. A Halo of Flies is actually a totally solid upgrade. I'm very happy to be getting that. We're going to look around for this last item room and last shop as well. And my guess is that it's going to be somewhere fairly close to this. We do have uh, Tough Love available on this room, which should allow us to take out these guys fairly quickly. Mostly, like, our insane rate of fire is, is the way we're doing an incredible amount of damage right now, which is why I'm probably going to be disappointed when I have to get rid of Cancer in order to uh, pick up the Polaroid, unfortunately. Uh, it's going to make things a little tougher on us. I can't overstate how much that is going to affect our, uh, our hurting power, basically. I think we have Tough Love again, actually. It's hard to tell. I mean, it looks like we have number one, because we're firing so quickly, but uh, number one would turn our shots yellow, I believe. Anyway, there's a Tinted Rock here, that's awesome. We're going to keep picking up some of these hearts. We can always turn those into uh, money at the Blood Bank, if necessary. I'm going to take you to the bank, Senator Trent. To the Blood Bank. Uh, it's a total botch, Steven Seagal delivery. If you haven't seen... <laughs> I don't know why my, my taste in everything is so bad. Oh my god, I just lost like a full spirit heart there. Uh, but if you haven't seen Steven Seagal's uh, famous Blood Bank quote, I've absolutely forgotten what movie it is from now. I highly encourage you to go check that out. One bomb for three bombs is a good trade here. Just YouTube Steven Seagal Blood Bank. Probably you can just YouTube Blood Bank and it'll work out well for you. Assuming there's not some like viral video series called Blood Bank or something, which, you know, I don't know, Lonely Girl 15 makes or something. More half red hearts that are going to allow us to uh, gain a little bit of extra health here. Finally, we have come across the shop, which is fantastic. Let's try not to get hit there. That got a little scary, but there's a tarot card, which I'm going to possibly pick up. Hero font would be worth its weight in gold. Oh my god, it is Hero font. Okay. That is fantastic for us, obviously. Our shop contains not super greed. Okay. This is an interesting situation. It contains the blue candle. What do we do about this? First things first. We buy that. We might as well buy this. The nail is so good, but is blue, I think blue candle might be a little bit better, actually. Uh, we're going to buy the key as well. We're going to buy everything because the money is worthless for us right now. I hate to get rid of the nail. Don't get me wrong. Wheel of Fortune card was not worth the money, but that's okay. I hate to get rid of the nail, but blue candle, I think in this situation where we already have a lot of spirit arts is better. I know I'm inviting debate because I did say... Um, you know, on my top 10 list, people were like, where's the blue candle? I can't believe the blue candle didn't make it. I don't know why I used Dave Chappelle's white guy voice for that, but, um... You know, fair enough. I, the, the nail made it to the list and blue candle didn't. But this is a situational uh, decision on my part. Because we already have a lot of spirit hearts. My thinking is that blue candle will help us not take more damage in the future than uh, nail would have given us in health. Beyond this, I'm, I'm not going to go uh, to the mom boss fight just yet. just wanted to get that over with. Um... Beyond this, again, as I mentioned, I'm, I'm really worried about the fact that we're going to start losing our ability to do damage once we get rid of this Cancer Trinket. So, ideally, what's going to happen here, I mean, what would make this the ultimate decision, is if I ended up being able to get Guppy's Paw in the deal with the Devil after the Mom boss fight, then we'd have permanent invincibility because of the Polaroid, something like 25 Spirit Hearts, as well as the Blue Candle, which would be fantastic. Uh, we can't bank on that happening necessarily, but Blue Candle at the very least is me hedging my bets 
for not being able to do a lot of damage in the future. Even if we don't get Guppy's Paw and we end up rolling on red hearts, that's actually okay. Uh, because we have little Chad, who's going to be giving us a metric F-ton of red hearts, apparently. Uh, beyond that, I just wanted to feel like the shop was worth something for once. Might as well mix things up. I know the nail's a little bit more boring than the candle, which at least has some kind of active effect associated with it. Uh, I think it was the right decision. The more I talk about it, the more I feel like it was the right decision as well, which is a, a good sign, I think. Uh, but, you know, it, as always, time will tell. And if I end up really finding out that health is a, a sore spot for me... That was a nice dodge there. Nine times out of ten, I will just dodge right into that, so I'm proud of myself. Ah, uh, that was bad, though. Um, yeah, you know, the more I talk about it, the, the, the stronger my conviction grows. But if health ends up being a serious issue for me, then, you know, my bad, basically. <laughs> Put myself in a bad spot, then. I, I, I'm tempted to go back to the blood bank and just play as many times as I can. I don't want the money. But, you know, getting to six red heart containers is better than being at five, and we'll probably be able to replenish our health regardless. Uh, so I think it would be a smart decision. I can't believe these guys don't actually hurt each other. That would make my life way easier. At the very least, I, I do think it was a good idea to get the candle simply because uh, it'll allow us to do damage once cancer leaves us. Which sounds like a positive thing, you know, in the everyday world, but actually is a negative thing in the Binding of Isaac, being that it is such a good trinket. So we're just looking for our last item room here, uh, and then it is A-OK -okay for us to go fight Mom, which I'm expecting to be a very, very easy fight, given the amount of power that we have. So I this might be one of the rare situations where I'm able to beat this room without taking damage. So far, so good. Still got to take care of this neck dude. We should call these guys giraffes. That's a good name for them. So we killed all the giraffes in here. Without taking damage. Just gotta make sure giraffe isn't like an accidental racial slur or something. In which case, I apologize to all you long-necked giraffes out there. Gotta be careful. Might put myself in a Randy Newman short people type situation where people don't realize that I'm joking. Hey man, some of my best friends are giraffes. That sounds like you have an awesome life, actually. Teach me how to befriend the long-necked beast. Uh, we have more half red hearts, which are totally useless for me. We've got to be getting close to the end of this damn room, or damn floor, I should say. This is crazy long. I guess we just had really good luck. Um, I can't believe I missed, all, like, all of those shots. I guess we just had crazy good luck finding, like, all the valuable rooms right off the bat. This is, like, dead-end central. Uh, those guys are gonna die quickly, and especially, you know, enemies like this are now absolutely no problem as a result of Blue Candle. We have so many half red hearts just surrounding us over this entire map. Please be a good damage item. Bomb bag, actually fairly solid in this situation. You know what, I'm gonna play that Blood Bank until we get super low. Or until we get the HP upgrade, whichever comes first. And then, uh, we are going to go down to the next four. It's been kind of a long run so far, but we have managed to... A massive, a pretty powerful, pretty powerful arsenal uh, for us to use to proceed here. I should be able to get a free bomb and sent there. That's exactly how that shit went down. Uh, let's go down ourselves here. Check out this blood bank. Blood banks have been pretty good to me so far. At least they provided me with an awful lot of cash in addition to uh, an HP and speed upgrade, which compensates for that speed downgrade I got earlier. And we still have a few more uh, kind of like item opportunities throughout the game. At least one on... Uh, Mom, and then one on the womb part one as well, so... You never know, I also would love to get uh, deals with the devil to get rid of some of these red hearts and possibly gain some extra damage in some way. I don't know. In the meantime though, I don't think this one's ever gonna pay out. So maybe we should go backtrack a little bit. Come on. Come on! I guess we'll backtrack. I hate to do it because it's gonna take a while. But, um, you know, we'll at least go back to the, the rooms that are fairly close to us. And get near to full health. But I'm so tempted to just, like, go through this, pick up all this health, and then spend it on the blood bank again, because, you know, I've got total gambler's fallacy going on right now. we got to be close! That's, that thing's going to pay out any second now. Well, you know what? Let's let's go crazy. I think it's worth it, because it also gives us the potential to get full health. So we're going to get another four plays, uh, which is just an excuse for me to say four play, but let's check this out. Please pay out. Well, at the very least, we got six cents out of that one. We might get lucky and be able to get to 99 if we got a few dimes, but... Oh, it just paid out with the IV bag! At the very least, we can play one more time. And it gave us one more sense. Okay. Well, I'm not pleased with that, as you might imagine, but... It's not the end of the world. We're probably going to be able to replenish our health regardless by way of little Chad. And that random uh, heart that we just found right there. 
I think we're going to be totally fine. It might seem like a silly decision to not backtrack, but uh, we're in a very, very good position right now from almost every conceivable metric, including our health, quite honestly. And what I'm banking on is getting Guppy's Paw via a deal with the devil. So we'll see how this works out for us. I think we're in the clear. If we get Guppy's Paw, it's just, you know, everything's gravy at that point. We're probably going to be basically unkillable. Uh, and we do have Mom's Contact for this Mom Fight, which is a fantastic upgrade for us to get. Uh, what I'm waiting on using Blue Candle for now, just to see if I could, like, freeze uh, one of the elements here that, that would allow me to do damage perhaps more consistently. Uh, but so far, I mean, we haven't really needed to sweat anything on this fight. Uh, I'm, I'm just kind of dodging like crazy. Candle's doing good work. Crowd control has not been an issue. And a, a big part of our success might actually come down. We got Pageant Boy. That's such garbage. Um... A big part of us, our success may indeed come down to uh, what tier effect we get on these all-important boss rooms. But for now, it's down to the Womb Par 1. If it was uh, Utero XL, then I definitely would have used this Emperor card. But uh, in the meantime, we'll save this Emperor card. My ideal point in using this is, uh, or my ideal point to use this is definitely on the Cathedral. So we'll see if that ends up becoming a reality. Probably will, because I, I can't see myself using it on... Uh, Womb Part 2, or Utero Part 2, whichever one we get, doesn't really matter. This floor might be a little bit long, but uh, if we get lucky and find our boss room right away, you know, we can fight Skolex or something. Again, you know, I wouldn't even mind fighting Death. Getting a second level Meat Boy might be uh, a solid pickup here. I don't like this room. We're gonna the way that these guys dodge is so goddamn annoying. Their AI is too good, but we actually do have the... Oh, get out of there. We have the Ouija board on this room. So I could get exceptionally lucky. Good, we got one there. That's really lucky. Um, I, I, maybe, you know, I could play my cards right and, and find myself uh, not getting hit here somehow. There's another one down. And one more hit, or one more kill is all that's necessary in order to succeed 100% on this room. Wow, that went really well, and we got a nice shiny dime for our efforts. Now, we do have a uh, mob trap room available here. Do I want to go to it? That's a very good question. Uh, I'm gonna take a look. If it's a golden chest, I'll end up opening it. If it's an item, I'll end up taking it. Uh, otherwise, as it is, uh, we are just gonna leave. So I'm still looking at those red hearts that I prognosticated that we would have. Uh, is that the correct conjugation of prognosticate or prognosis? I don't know. I think so. And actually, Mom's Contact is an awesome... Uh, I botched it. But Mom's Contact was an awesome uh, get for this room. And I'm starting to be able to see my spirit hearts. That worries me a great deal. And it's starting to make me think that uh, going to the blood bank as often as I did might have been a little foolish. But we're, we're not in that position where we have to face our demons just yet. As of right now, everything is still going totally fine. All we've got to do is not get hit a ton on these next few uh, rooms. Make it down to the boss room. Get that guppy's paw. Uh, deal with the devil that I've been talking about for so long now and then we'll be okay so let's I, have, I got lucky there I was just gonna say let's try to kill all, both of those guys with uh, a single blue candle shot it's exactly how that shit went down now where the hell is our boss room here also why are we not oh that was bad why are we not getting nearly as many red hearts as we used to that's a good question uh, let's just kill this oh! I could use a speed upgrade honestly as well but we're probably unlikely to get those. Cursed Skull. Not really what I'm in the market for right now. These brain dudes should be no problem. If they get too close, they just hit him with a little bit of the BC. If you know what I mean. Now if we can just... Oh! Try this again. Blue candle shot worked fantastically. It seems like every three rooms we get one bomb, one key, and one half red heart. But you know what? It's A-OK -okay with me. It might not be sustainable right now. We should check for secret rooms as well, just in case. Just in case. Wow, that was incredibly lucky. In our secret room, we find more money. So, this is one of those rare games where we got to 99 cents naturally. And by naturally, I mean uh, by not getting the dollar. We just basically got super lucky. Too bad we already unlocked Kane, uh, you know, 600 episodes ago. Otherwise, uh, we would have unlocked him almost twofold here. Okay, so we're just going to walk Super Meat Boy there over on top of that. Pick up our two bombs and go to town here on these guys this is an easy room if, oh don't fulfill the northern lion prophecy of taking damage on this room uh if, if every room that we face was like that i would be a very happy camper if every room we face is like this i'm gonna 
turn into a J Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Which one's the evil one? Dr. Jekyll's the nice dude. Mr. Hyde is the asshole. Dr. Jekyll, Mr. David Hyde Pierce. That sounds like a, it could be a, an answer on Wheel of Fortune or something. Uh, let's continue going onwards here. Uh, probably should not kill that Guts before the other Guts are dead, because that's going to complicate things a little bit for me. Now we'll just kill this guy, then immediately pop Blue Candle. Oh, it didn't work! They were going the other direction. That's okay. This is a big boss fight for us, mostly because if we don't get Guppy's Paw, I'm going to start feeling like give, getting rid of the nail was a silly decision. We are going to be fighting uh, Double Loki here, who I always struggle to name because I don't want to, what do you call him, like Loki? Losi? I don't know. Anyway. I don't, I don't, there's no such thing as a soft K as far as I know. So Losi probably makes no sense, but anyway. He's dead. We get an HP upgrade, which is something. We also almost get back to full HP, which makes me feel better about things. Uh, but at the same time, this means Guppy's Paw is probably unlikely. There's a, like, the fact that we didn't get to deal with the devil with it lowers our chances of finding Guppy's Paw to, like, 1 in 20,000. Because now we've got to find it via a random red chest. And I don't think we've seen, like, a single red chest all game. Now, stranger things have happened, of course. But not much stranger. Uh, especially given how little of the game we have left. So it looks like, it, in contrast to what I expected, which is us rolling, like, a pure Polaroid invincibility run, uh, we're gonna be rolling almost a pure red health run, despite having the nail for a long time a little bit earlier. So I should stop shooting for a second, because I think we can kill this guy entirely with the candle. Uh, more or less, we could get a free attack fly here. Let's try to do that. Just kill the blue one last. It's worth taking damage to kill the blue one last, quite honestly. Uh, attack fly is not a... Oh, God damn. Attack fly is not a huge advantage, and I just killed a... Like, it seemed deliberate. I killed it on purpose there. I didn't mean to, though. Uh, but whatever. Maybe we'll still have a chance of getting it. We're still gonna be absolutely 100% fine. Oh, I didn't realize that we had the, uh, magnet effect working there. Uh, we're gonna be absolutely 100% fine for killing Mom's Heart. That's not gonna be an issue, especially given the amount of health that I have. Uh, we're probably gonna be fine for killing Isaac. It's just that my long-term chances of beating the game I just got a lot lower. As a result of kind of like the weird build that we ended up having. I, I guess that's a lesson for me. I probably shouldn't rely on getting um, items that are somewhat rare. That was easy. Uh, we got back to full health finally. And I should check for the secret room just in case there's a second secret room around here. That could allow us to go to that mob trap room. Playing a blood bank is not a smart decision now. Uh, because we're going to need these red hearts to, to kind of carry us onwards. So that blood, or sorry, that boss trap room is going to be off the table. Let's check out the left side here. Also known colloquially as the strong side, I hear. That is awful damage. We are out of spirit hearts. Those lasers basically bum after me uh, in a non-consensual way. So we're going to... I mean, they did drop a spirit heart at the end, which kind of compensates for it a little bit. Not for the butt effing, but for the health that I lost. Nothing compensates for a non-consensual butt effing. The F stands for fingering, man! It's not as bad as you think. I don't know if I'm accidentally making light of sexual assault here. If you have taken it that way, I apologize. That was not my intention. So, you guys just, uh... Gonna hop around like this, huh? Well, if you don't mind, I'm just gonna fire my tears straight ahead, and if you walk into them, then it's your fault. Now, we are gonna have Dobla Guts here. Uh, which sounds like the best meal I had in Quebec City earlier this fall. It's a nice little double goods on a croissandwich. <laughs> ultimate bastardization of uh, pronunciation there. In any case, I guess I just am the ultimate bastard, so ultimate bastardization kind of goes without saying. Let's check out our left side here. Please tell me that we are coming close to... Oh, we got number one. I kind of got to go number one right now, so I'm hoping this ends fairly soon. Uh, a bomb to open this up seems like a smart idea in case there's spirit hearts contained within. There is a pill which could contain spirit hearts. Pretty fly. Uh, that's actually useless for us, but we've got to be... There we go. Finally, we found the boss room. It is worth a key to open this up. Maybe we can get some balls of steel. Tears down. Well, that's uh, not great, but we're still probably going to be okay because we're going to be doing most of our damage primarily through uh, the blue candle, I'm going to guess. And we do have 18 bombs as well, and nothing is going to shoot these bombs out of the way. Uh, I think we're dealing with my reflections, which is always a little bit worrying. Because you never know how that's going to affect things. Uh, but, you know, bombs and blue candles. 
These are a few of my favorite things. I imagine this boss fight is not going to be altogether impossible. This guy's got to be dead soon. That's why I'm waiting on using the candle, because I want to make sure the candle's ready to take out the enemies uh, that Mom will spawn. That should be... Oh, that was Larry Jr.'s, but, you know, contingency plan worked out. Zombies next. Zombies are like a perfect shot on those zombies. And uh, now we are dealing with these assholes, and I actually do not mind taking a little break to deal with them to kind of get our pattern set up again. Mom is already basically half dead, so let's pop this out here. That's Dookie F. Uh, Dookie F is nearly dead. Could use a, yeah, uh, you know what. That was a good use of Blue Candle. I'm just going to drop a fat bomb in there. I think Chubb's going to come out, but, you know, we hit him with a bomb directly and then a Blue Candle to, like, all of his segments, which is enough to basically kill him. We're kind of out of range, thanks to my reflection here, which is really annoying, but one more Blue Candle shot should be enough. There we go. That, that worked out fairly well. I don't think we took damage at all that entire time. So now we go up, and this is where things start to accelerate a bit. We use our Emperor card to fight Isaac. Uh, and the most important part for this, we have homing tears. I much would have preferred Mom's Contact, but it, this is not so bad. Uh, we gotta use the candle as often as possible. In addition to that, it's probably in my best interest to only fire when I have the candle available. How that shot snuck through there is beyond me. Uh, probably in my best interest to only fire when the candle's available. So let's just chill out for a second. Maybe we should just actually only fire the candle. At which point things become uh, a little bit safer for us, it seems. It's going to slow things down quite a lot, but it's also going to make it so I'm probably a lot less likely to take damage. We are on second Isaac phase right now. Just be cool. He's firing a little crazy right now. But that's okay. This is actually a much more, I think, sustainable and reliable way. Uh, to do damage to him. And by the way, thank you to Cube of Meat and Halo of Flies for putting me in a, a fairly good defensible position here. Accidentally shot it in there, but that's okay. This is working out substantially better. And you know what? If, if we manage to get to Blue Baby with a decent amount of health, we should be able to make this happen. The only problem is now uh, we've got to deal with the Angel Fetuses, obviously, which are going to be a, a problem enough in their own right. But the good news is I am able to kind of use the same strategy against them. Oh, that was bad. AKA, use the uh, the candle to block their shots. The beams from heaven are going to be kind of an unpredictable source of damage. But, so far so good. We've only taken, like, one hit since I adopted this new strategy. So we're just going to focus on dodging. One more hit is going to be enough. I, oh, maybe not. Okay, that dodging worked out surprisingly well for a little while. you got to hand it to me there. Now we can start using our tears again. Candle, though. Proving to be the unsung hero there. Amazingly, we made it without really that much stress through that Isaac fight. Now we go down to the chest where, as always, uh, all bets are off. Let's see what we got here. Luckfoot. Could be important if we end up getting uh, Tough Love. Number one, permanently. Uh, you know, range is super low, but at least our rate of fire is increased. Pills and Mr. Mega. Obviously, this is not necessarily, um, you know, my ideal situation. Bombs are key. is not really a good pickup at this point in the game. Uh... Whether this ends up being, especially like the, the main determiner of our success, or the main effector of our success, I should say there, uh, is definitely going to be number one, which is going to make things uh, a little bit more interesting, especially via this uh, decreased range that I'm now suffering from. I, I think we have a pretty low chance of success, especially given the damage that I've taken on this room. But as always, uh, things can change fairly rapidly in the Binding of Isaac, so let's try to not get destroyed by the AIDS poop here, which is always real annoying. This, this is what makes this guy one of my least favorite bosses in the entire game. Especially when you're fighting him kind of like standalone later. And the regenerating poop is just the most annoying thing. Oh, I dodged right into it. Okay, one more hit will kill us. At the very least, survive till the end of this room. Okay, that was kind of unpredictable effects. Oh, I didn't even see that poop. Oh, I just let him run into me. I basically set up a path where he could run right into me. But in any case, again, thank you to GTOOM16 for that challenge run suggestion. That one was a lot of fun. I, I don't know if I have a new appreciation for Wiggle Worm, but I have a new appreciation for challenge runs that involve Wiggle Worm in any case. Again, as always, continue suggesting your challenge runs, you listening at home, and I will continue to do the ones that I deem most entertaining or appropriate. As always, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.